Thank you, Urs. Um, I think, first of all, I'm very happy to see that we saw a lot of success stories today, because, in fact, many projects actually fail. Um, but before we go into that detail, um, I had a few discussions this morning, and I saw I wanted to better understand why is everyone here today. And one thing that occurred to me is, first of all, we all try to improve our businesses using different technologies. One of them is AI and data science. Now, it seems that we are very, very motivated and eager to get this done. Nevertheless, the cross industry is taking a lot outside of the ETH industry days. It occurs that only one out of 10 projects are actually successful. Doing a bit of marketing and sales, at VZM we managed to bring six out of projects, six out of 10 projects into production, meaning they deliver results. So going back to the question why a lot of companies actually fail, why is that the case? And for that, I'd like to tell you a story of a meeting that I had last week. Um, I talked with someone in the commodity industry, um, a data science leader, and one of the things that she said is, I don't understand it. We have 15 data science team, it's just her team, um, all with the same task, improve the commodity pri price forecast. So that's all they wanted to do. But every time she said, every time she gets a new script, a new model, whatever it is, she's tasked to give this to IT and business and say, make use of it. And I'm quoting, the things that she gets back as a feedback is, the scripts don't run, they crash during the night. Um, after one month, the results don't seem to be any reliable anymore. And for example, they don't really know how does the inputs lead to a certain output. So they don't understand the results of the machine learning model. And in fact, going back to today, many companies struggle with the same issues. They can't bring machine learning models into production because they have a strong, strong focus on machine learning and AI. Now, beyond, beyond machine learning, what is important to know is that it's, it's a very small and little parts. Some of you might have seen this diagram or framework, and we see that all of the other components about, around machine learning are as important as machine learning itself. And you might be wondering, why am I talking about this? I'm talking about it because machine learning operations is a concept that groups a lot of these components together. Now, what is machine learning, machine learning operations? Uh, there's a very simple definition. I think, first of all, it's very emphasizing the collaboration between IT, data science, and business. But most importantly, it's all about bringing machine learning models, pilots, proof of concept, innovation, into operation. So making sure that it actually delivers value. Now, to make this a bit more concrete, there's a few aspects of uh, machine learning operations. I'm just going to emphasize a few of them. Logging, especially in companies with a lot of business risk exposure um, due to compliance reasons. We want to know why did a machine learning model take a certain decision. So it's all about logging the information of the past. How did we reach the model of today? The second one is monitoring. Um, we want to know if a machine learning model next year, for example, if a forecasting tool pre-COVID was developed, it's most likely not going to be reliable anymore today. And everyone knows that. But do this for 10, 12, 20, 50, 100 machine learning models at the same time in production. It gets an almost impossible task. The third one, integrating. Beyond technically speaking, integrating a machine learning model into production. It's all about the business understanding. How can we integrate a machine learning model into an existing business process? Do we need a user interface? When do we not need one? Et cetera, et cetera. These questions are answered here. And then scaling, we want to make it as reliable as possible so that if we go into a new country with the same model, the model still performs. Retraining, it's all about improving the performance again, which is the trigger of the monitoring. And then lastly, explaining. It's the explainability, going back to the quote of what I heard last week, why does a model take a certain decision? These are, theoretically speaking, the things that machine learning includes. In practice, how has uh, one of VZM's clients, and VZM is a 65 strong, people strong AI consultancy, how has one of our clients uh, recently benefited from machine learning operations and our exper expertise around this? Uh, we see on the left side, um, situation and challenge. Many of the AI use cases they had, um, they had a lot of them. Only few are used by business stakeholders. Um, most of the projects they successfully completed didn't scale. And then lastly, there was no effective collaboration between the departments. Now, if you can recognize yourself in 
one of the questions in the middle dimension, which are we can consistently deploy machine learning models, we can track data quality over time, we can track the model performance over time, we can keep track of all models deployed. Let's say you have 100 or 20. And then lastly, you feel like you do the same work over and over again. If you can recognize yourself in one of those statements, machine learning ops might be something to think about. Now beyond that, what has Visium helped exactly? Um, one of them is we have created the central model registry um, that standardizes the, the model management. Essentially, it makes sure that whatever use case and pain point comes up in another department, you don't do the same work again. The second one, we have approval processes set in place. The third one, we have automated pipelines that every time we have a trigger re to retrain a model, they are automatically deployed into production again. And then we have the data distributions to monitor the performance. And then lastly, best practices around the integration of machine learning models. The most important question, how did they benefit from that? Um, I'm not going to say much about here, uh, but they managed to decrease the pilot time substantially, the scaling time substantially. Overall, they saved a lot of money. And I think that's the most important thing. We managed to deliver value. So you might be wondering why did they work with an AI consultancy like Visium? In short, it's because we combined the ML code, the data engineering, getting the right data into the data infrastructure, the, the AI's data strategy, sorry, the data engineering, as well as the machine learning operations, all in one together into one package. And this is how we manage to bring six out of 10 and growing projects into production. Now, if you wonder how to get started, please come by our stands. We have a checklist ready for machine learning operations. Our stand is actually not B11. Um, I got the information before. It is D16. So I'd be very glad to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you so much.